Hello, everybody. This is a short video on Mendel's dihybrid cross. In this video, I made a small attempt to explain the basics of dihybrid cross and some important questions based on dihybrid cross. I will begin with a brief explanation of dihybrid cross. Mendel conducted these crosses, dihybrid crosses, uh, in 1860s. And uh, a dihybrid cross, by definition, is a cross between two plants differing in two characters. This dihybrid cross is also called two-factor cross. On the basis of results of two-factor cross or dihybrid cross, Mendel proposed the law of independent assortment one of the most important laws proposed by Mendel. It is based on Mendel's dihybrid cross results. It uh, briefly explains our, uh, the, the two-factor inheritance, in a two-factor inheritance, that the inheritance of one factor is independent of the inheritance of the second factor. There is no relationship between inheritance of one factor and the inheritance of another factor. Here, uh, I have chosen two factors, the seed color, seed coat color, yellow and green. Yellow is dominant, green is uh, uh, recessive. The R factor about uh, the shape of the seed, round seeds and wrinkled seeds. Round seeds are dominant, wrinkled seeds are recessive. The parental cross is like this. This is the parental cross. This one. Capital Y, capital Y, capital R, capital R is homozygous yellow round parent. Small y, small y, small r, small r is homozygous green wrinkled parent. A cross between these two parents yielded an F1 progeny, which is yellow round, because yellow is dominant over green, round is dominant over wrinkled. The F1 are all uh, with dominant phenotype, yellow round, but heterozygous. Capital Y, small y, capital R, small r, this is F1, double heterozygote for yellow round features. Now, this F1 progeny are subjected to selfing, or we may also say, F1 into F1 cross to obtain F2 progeny. The F2 progeny that are obtained are play are explained through a Punnett square. This is the Punnett square checkerboard. Each F1 parent produces four types of gametes. Um, if there is independent assortment, these four types of gametes are produced in equal proportion. These are the four gametes produced by one F1 parent. These are the four types of gametes produced by another F1 parent. And uh, as a matter of fact, uh, uh, the inheritance is probabilistic, inheritance is chance based. And uh, in Mendel's dihybrid cross, Mendel assumed that each gamete has an equal chance of meeting any other gamete from the other parent. That is one assumption. And uh, another assumption is that each F1 parent produced four types of gametes in equal proportions. And if these two assumptions are correct, we should get these progeny in these proportions. These are the progeny obtained in F2 generation. Now, the progeny given in red color are double dominant phenotypes, yellow round, about nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine are yellow round progeny. And these blue colored genotypes, this one, this one, and this one, they are three, they are yellow wrinkled, yellow dominant, the other feature is recessive. Then these three green, the green round progeny, they are three in number, and this in violet color is double recessive green wrinkled progeny. And that's only one out of the 16. In all, there are uh, 16 combinations possible. Of these, nine combinations will result in yellow round progeny. 
three combinations of gametes will result in allo ring killed progeny and another three different combinations will result in production of green round f2 progeny and only one out of 16 is green ring killed double recessive progeny now this Yellow round 9, yellow ring killed 3, green round 3, green ring killed 1 is the phenotypic ratio for dihybrid cross. Typical phenotypic ratio in a dihybrid cross, Mendelian dihybrid cross exhibiting independent assortment is 9331. In this, this 9 and 1 are parentals, 3 and 3 are recombinants. These 3 and 3 are called Mendelian recombinants. About 10 are parentals, 6 are recombinants. We could go on to analyze the genotypes of these four types of phenotypes. For instance, the first uh, uh, phenotype, L around dominant, double dominant phenotype, we have four types of genotypes. This is one, capital Y, capital Y, capital R, capital R. That's only one out of 16. And capital Y, capital Y, capital R, small r. This one and this one. They are two out of 16. And then the third genotype, capital Y, small y, capital R, capital R. There are two, they are two in number. This one and this one out of 16, two. And then double heterozygotes, capital Y, small y, capital R, small r. All this diagon is double heterozygotes. One, two, three, four. So double heterozygotes are four. Then Y heterozygous, R homozygous two. Y homozygous, R heterozygous two. Both Y and R homozygous dominant one. One, two, two, four. L around progeny are obtained in a genotypic ratio of one is to two is to two is to four. Similarly, we can go on to uh, see the genotypes of one Mendelian recombinant, yellow ring killed. This one, this one, this one. This is a recombination because the parents, neither of the parents uh, uh, has this combination. Yellow round is one parental combination. Green ring killed is another parental combination. Therefore, there is no yellow ring killed combination in the parents. It's a new combination. That's why it's called recombination. It's called Mendelian recombination. One of the Mendelian recombinations is yellow ring killed. This one, this one, and this one. Now we will look into uh, how many types of genotypes are these yellow ring killed. These are the yellow ring killed uh, phenotypes. They are three in number. One is double homozygote, capital Y, capital Y, small r, small r. And two are, they are heterozygotes for Y factor, homozygotes for R factor. They are two in number. So the genotypic ratio of one Mendelian recombinant yellow ring killed is one is to two. Similarly, if we switch over to green round, the second Mendelian recombinant, they are also obtained in one is to two genotypic ratio. Now these greens genotypes are the second Mendelian recombinant. The phenotype is green round. The first factor, the first trait is recessive, second trait is dominant. Now, of this, one is double homozygous, small y, small y, capital R, capital R, one. Small y, small y, capital R, small r, two, one is to two. So yellow ring killed in one is to two ratio, green round in one is to two ratio, Mendelian recombinants are obtained in one to one to ratio. And the last one, double recessive, green ring killed, small y, small y, small r, small r is 1 by 16, only 1 out of 16 progeny is double recessive. Now this constitutes the genotypic ratio in dihybrid cross. The phenotypic ratio, as I have already mentioned, is 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1, whereas the genotypic ratio is 1, 2, 2, 4, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1. Phenotypic ratio, four types of phenotypes and nine types of genotypes are produced. The genotypic ratio, I would mention once again, is 1 is to 2 is to 2 is to 4 is to 1 is to 2 is to 1 is to 2 is to 1. This is briefly about uh, dihybrid cross 
analysis uh, as conducted by Mendel and Mendel uh, I have mentioned already has proposed an important law on the basis of uh, these results. This law is known as law of independent assortment. It states that the inheritance of one pair of factors is independent of the inheritance of the second pair of factors, which means the inheritance of allo trait is independent of uh, the inheritance of the round trait or color of the seed and the shape of the seed are two characters. The inheritance of one character is independent of the inheritance of the other character. We will now switch over to a few important questions that are often raised on the basis of this data. I will take you another screen in which the questions are given. These are the questions. Uh, some important questions which are important for NEET examination. I have framed these questions as short questions and I will also give answers very shortly for each one of these questions. What percent, the first question goes like this, what percent of F2 progeny are double heterozygotes? what percent of F2 progeny are double heterozygotes? Well, what are double heterozygotes? They are heterozygous for uh, first factor as well as for the second factor. I will go back to the checkerboard to explain this question. This is a double heterozygote, capital Y, small y, capital R, small r. This is a double heterozygote. This is also a double heterozygote. This is also a double heterozygote. Both factors are in heterozygous condition. They are one, one, two, three, four. Four out of 16 are double heterozygotes. We will go to the question now. Four out of 16, that is one by four, that is equal to 25%. 25% of the progeny are double heterozygotes in dihybrid cross, I mean in F2 progeny. Similarly, next question, the second question. What percent of F2 progeny are double homozygotes? Which means there are two factors and both factors are in homozygous condition. How many of the F2 progeny, what percent of F2 progeny are double homozygotes. We will go back to the Punnett square. This is the Punnett square. And we will find out the double homozygotes. These, this is one double homozygote, double dominant homozygote, double recessive homozygote. This also is homozygote. Capital Y, capital Y, small r, small r, small y, small y, capital R, capital R. This also is a homozygote. Double homozygous, double homozygous, double homozygous, double homozygous, which means like the double heterozygotes, double homozygotes are also four in number. This diagon is double heterozygotes. This diagon is double homozygotes. One, two, three, four double homozygotes out of 16 progeny. Therefore, for the second question, what percent of F2 progeny are double homozygotes? 4 by 16, that is 1 by 4, 25 percent. That's the answer for second question. Third question, what percent of F2 progeny are monohybrids? We have to understand the term monohybrid. Well, there are uh, two factors. One factor is homozygous. The other factor is heterozygous. Any one of them can be homozygous. The other one is heterozygous. They are called monohybrids. How many of the F2 progeny are monohybrids? We will go back to Punnett square. Now, I will show you the monohybrids. Look at this, the second one. Capital Y, capital Y, capital R, small r. This is a monohybrid. 
because one factor is homozygous, the other factor is heterozygous. This is one, this is at another one. This is heterozygous, Y is heterozygous, R is homozygous. This is also a monohybrid, one, two. Now in this second row, this is monohybrid and this one is monohybrid. Another monohybrid is this. Capital Y, small y, small r, small r. One, two. Now total, one, two, three, four. Now in the third row, this is a monohybrid and this also is a monohybrid. This and this, two. And in the fourth row, this is a monohybrid, this is a monohybrid. So in all, eight monohybrids. I will show you one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In all, eight monohybrids out of 16. Eight by 16 are monohybrids. We'll come to the answer of the third question. What percent of F2 progeny are monohybrids? 8 by 16, that is 1 by 2, 50 percent. 50 percent are monohybrids. Now coming to the fourth question. What is the ratio of parentals to recombinants in F2 progeny? Ratio of parentals to recombinants. Let us see the dihybrid ratio. Dihybrid ratio is 9, 3, 3, 1. In this 9 is parentals, yellow round parentals. And 1 green wrinkled is another parent. So 9 plus 1, 10 are parentals. This three and this three, yellow wrinkled is a recombinant, green round is also a recombinant. This three and this three are recombinants. Recombinants are six, parentals are 10. We'll go to the question. What is the ratio of parentals to recombinants in F2 progeny? That is 10 is to six or simplified 5 is to 3. The ratio is 5 is to 3. 5 is to 3. This is the ratio. 5 is to 3 and number is out of 16. 10 is to 16. Okay. The ratio is 5 is to 3. What percent of F2 resemble F1 genotypically of the total progeny F2? How many resemble, what percent resemble F1 genotypically? I'll take you to checkerboard. Of these F2 progeny, total F2 progeny, these are 16 in combinations. How many of them, what percent of them resemble F1, is F1, genotypically? What is the F1 genotype? Double heterozygous. Capital Y, capital Y, small y, capital R, small r. How many of these 16 have this genotype? This one, this one, this one, and this one. This, this this and this, this diagon, double heterozygotes. And you don't have double heterozygote anywhere else except this diagon. One, two, three, four. Four out of 16 are double heterozygotes. F1 genotype is double heterozygote. Therefore, four out of 16 progeny in the F2 are like the F1 genotypically, four by 16. The answer for this is 4 by 16, 1 by 4, 25%. What percent of F2 resemble F1 phenotypically? Same question, but one word difference, phenotypic similarity. This is the checkerboard. F1 phenotype is yellow round. 
the phenotype of f1 is yellow and round double dominant phenotype how many of the f2 progeny are double dominant the answer is here double dominant phenotypes are double dominant phenotypes are nine yellow round nine these red ones one two three four five six seven eight nine nine are yellow round they are like f1 phenotypically 9 by 16 9 by 16 is the fraction which is like uh, the f1 phenotypically but in the question what is asked percent what is the percent of 9 by 16 if i ca my calculation is correct 9 by 16 is 56.25% uh, 56.25% resemble F1 phenotypically. What is the genotypic ratio of Mendelian recombinants? We have to understand the term Mendelian recombinants. I will take you back to the Punnett square. And here, this three and three, these three, yellow wrinkled and green round are Mendelian recombinants. Nine and one are parents. Now, these Mendelian recombinants uh, are obtained in what genotypic ratio? This is the genotypic ratio of Mendelian recombinants. Yellow wrinkled in 1 is to 2 ratio, green round in 1 is to 2 ratio. Therefore, the ratio of Mendelian recombinants in F2 progeny of Mendel's dihybrid cross is 1 to 1 to 1 is to 2, 1 is to 2. The answer for this question, what is the genotypic ratio of Mendelian recombinants. One is to two is to one is to one, two. One is to two is to one is to two. One, two, one, two is the genotypic ratio of Mendelian recombinants. What is the genotypic ratio of Double dominant phenotypes, double dominant phenotypes, double dominant phenotype is yellow round. Let us see, these are the double dominant phenotypes, yellow round, yellow round is the double dominant phenotype, 9 out of 16. Now come here, yellow round, these are the four types of genotypes uh, belonging to yellow round phenotype. There are four genotypes. They are obtained in one, two, two, four ratio. So the genotypic ratio of double dominant phenotype that is yellow round is one, two, two, four. We'll go to the question. What is the genotypic ratio of double dominant phenotype? One is two. 2 is to 2 is to 4. 1, 2, 2, 4 is the genotypic ratio of double dominant phenotype. What percent, next question, what percent of F2 progeny are double recessive? Double recessive progeny are 1 by 16. This is the one. This is the only one which is double recessive. Small y, small y, smaller, smaller. One out of 16 is uh, double recessive. And here the question is asking, what percent of F2 progeny are double recessive? One by 16, if my calculation is correct, is 6.25%. Uh, 6.25% of the F2 progeny are double recessive. Next question. What is the ratio of phenotypes to genotypes in F2 progeny, all related to dihybrid cross? In F2 progeny, how many phenotypes and how many genotypes are produced? Now, let us see the, the phenotypic ratio, 9331. There are four types of phenotypes, yellow round, yellow wrinkled, green round, green wrinkled, four types. 
and how many genotypes are these four phenotypes four two two one nine genotypes genotypic ratio is one two two four one two one two one so there are nine genotypes in all and four phenotypes the ratio of phenotypes to genotypes is four is to nine the answer for this question the ratio what is the ratio of phenotypes to genotypes in f2 progeny phenotypes are 4 and genotypes are 9 4 is to 9 how many types of gametes are produced by f1 heterozygote f1 heterozygote is uh, uh, double heterozygote this is f1 it's a double heterozygote cattl y small y cattl r small r now if there is independent assortment in the absence of uh, a linkage a double heterozygote will produce uh, four types of gametes in equal proportion double heterozygote is cattl y small y cattl r small r this is the double heterozygote this will produce four types of gametes the gametes produced by uh, this are four types of gametes capital y capital r capital y small r small y capital r small y small r so a double heterozygote will produce four types of gametes if there is independent assortment four types of gametes in equal proportion each type of gamete uh, in 1 by 4 proportion so how many types of gametes are produced by f1 heterozygote the answer is four four types of gametes and last question what percent of f2 progeny have double dominant phenotype what percent of f2 progeny have double dominant phenotype double dominant phenotype uh, this question has the same answer as this question double dominant phenotype is yellow round yellow round are 9 9 out of 16 percentage of 9 out of 16 percentage of 9 out of 16 is 56. Two five percent. Now the answer for this question is same as the answer for this question, but the questions are different. Here the question is asking what percent of F two resemble F one phenotypically? Phenotypically nine by sixteen. Here what percent of F two progeny have double dominant phenotype nine by sixteen? Uh, Hello, wrong. Now these are some questions which which can be answered with a correct understanding of the Punnett square on dihybrid cross. And I have already mentioned that on the basis of dihybrid cross, Mendel proposed law of independent assortment, which states that in a two-factor inheritance, the inheritance of one factor is independent of the inheritance of the other factor. well uh, that's it uh, for this uh, uh, session i would like to come before you with uh, a few more questions on uh, dihybrid cross shortly uh, mostly on dominance incomplete dominance and ratios in a dihybrid cross related to dominance and incomplete dominance that i will do in another video and thanks for now